again, Pastor C.L. Franklin, with the Wilson County Bible Studies, and Mr. Hackett, the Red Blue Order of the Street tonight with their uh, television and this kind of thing. And we just invite you again to listen as we respond on the Word of God. If I say, I hide, I hide you from my Word in your heart. I can say that I may not sin against you. So tonight we we'll give you this word. But I pray for us. Father God, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your, the gift of your daughter and son Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to be here tonight to learn more about you, Father God. Thank you, Father. About the one who first loved us, Father God. Father, we pray that you open up our understanding and be able to copy your word, that we may live by your word, Father God. And Father, as a teacher, bring the word forth. Make it plain, Father. Thank Father, you, Lord. Father God. That we be able to comprehend your word. Teach us, guide us, and lead us in the way that we should go, Father God. Father God, I pray for Pastor that you continue to bless him with the yes, blessing of Jesus Christ. Him and his household, Father God. Yes. Father God, remember Sister Wendy. Please remember God. Remember Sister Tap. Remember Sister Howell. Remember Sister Lawson. Remember those names that I'm not remembering call, to call, Father God. I was sick and shedding. Continue to bless him with the blessing you see this family need of. Bring them back to your fold. Please God. God. Father God, remember those that are here, those that are on their way, and those that desire to be here. Yeah. We pray that you continue to bless, that you continue to keep us, Father God, and just keep us here. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Look at again, we're looking at the uh, 10th and 15th chapter of 1st uh, uh, Corinthians. 15th chapter deals with the, deals with the resurrection of Christ. We'll talk about I talked about it last week, and then we'll continue uh, to, to, to examine it and look at it. If I can remember all the things that we talked about last week that we add some stuff to it this week. You know, we get old, we get old, we get old. Uh, last night, last night we were um, we were talking, this brother and I, and, and I kept January the 10th kept flashing by me. I said, there's something, maybe somebody's birthday or something, something, something about January the 10th. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't put it in perspective. And so when I was 9 30, Sunday 10, my daughter called me last night and, and wished us happy anniversary. <laughs> oh, Lord. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> my wife forgot the anniversary. Oh, <laughs> 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 45 years. Praise God. Amen. 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 Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which you also have received, and wherein you stand, by which you are saved, and if you keep, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. So we were all saying, I, I preach the gospel. You know, mm -hmm. I told you what the gospel, the gospel, we're going to tell you what the gospel is, the, the, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yeah. <clears throat> And Paul say, say yeah, I preached it unto you, and if you if you hang on to that, which you have believed, if you hang on to it, then you you will be saved, right? And so we, 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 the salvation is process in the sense that we're saved, we're being saved, and we shall be saved, mm -hmm. right? We are saved from the from the penalty of sin, mm -hmm. uh, we're saved from the power of sin, and we, and sooner or later. We're going to be saved from the presence of sin. Amen. Donna, go fix a cup of coffee and give it to Sister Stella because she, she the little eyes are bent now. We're betting because I'm trying to see. You know, I'm trying to see. She's got her glasses with the store outside. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's blind as a bet now. Blind as a jelly. That's, that's, that's us. And so, so that's the gospel, right? And this is what he says. And in this, he says, for, verse 3 For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. Uh, somebody gave it to him. So, somebody gave him or told him about the gospel, about the, the 
fact that Christ came and he died and was buried and raised from the dead. He didn't just get it out of midair. Christ, listen, he had to be given. Somebody told him. Mm -hmm. It's like all of us, we're saved because somebody witnessed, witnessed to us. He said, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said, he said, How is that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures? Uh, what scripture are you talking about? You're not talking about the New Testament scriptures because mm -hmm. they're certain they were in you, right? Amen. So you have to be talking about the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. uh, how it was laid out in types and shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, they would bring the animal, the innocent animal, and, and there the priest would, the, the, the one who brought it would lay his hand on it, transfer the guilt from him to the animal, and the priest would slit his throat yes. and take his blood and sprinkle his blood upon the altar. So all this was done in types and shadows, uh, in representative form. And so to understand that, you got to get to Christ. Uh, you can't, again, you can't understand the Old Testament unless you unless you know who Jesus is. Amen. Because the types and shadows and this kind of thing, they, they pointed to somebody. And now they pointed to something else other than itself. And so in order to, in order to understand, you got to find out who was it pointing to? And remember in Luke, with the 24th chapter of Luke, Jesus said, uh, uh, the two men of Emmaus, he explained to them, remember, he said that that that, uh, that, uh, that he took them from Moses in the Psalms and showed them that Christ had to die to enter into his glory. He said all those things that were written were written about him. Right? When you look at the Old Testament, it's about who? It's, it's about Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. In types and yes. shadows. Yes. Right? Yes. And a bullock, and a lamb, and a pig. All that represented a substitute. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he said, he said, for I delivered on you first that which I also received, uh, that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the, to the scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, the rose the third day, types and shadows. Remember who it was that on the third day it was it was it was that Jonah who was in the belly of the whale. Types talking about types and shadows for three days and three nights. Uh, remember Hezekiah on the third day he was made well. Right, it was the third day that he he was, re was revived. Mm -hmm. uh, and so all those were just types. Christ, and so to understand the implication of it, you have to look at Christ because it represented Him. Yes. And so it said, yes. "He said, yes. and that was." I'm sorry. That chesed, when we got a type also. How you say that word? That chesed, that chesed, that chesed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, it, it, it said, "For well, I delivered you first of all that Christ died for." First of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. And then he began, then he gave me the witnesses. Mm -hmm. Right? He was buried, he, he but he died, right? Now now his death was not his death was not un, unusual uh, because all people died. Amen. Right? It was the crucifixion? Nah, not really, because they were being crucified. They were being crucified prior to Christ, mm -hmm. and they were being crucified after Christ. Matter of fact, Titus killed so many Jews in the revolt that they didn't have room enough to put any more crosses. Huh? But but his death was unique in that he didn't die for himself. Mm -hmm. His death was for who? Uh, for uh, others, right? That's the thing that made his his death. More unique than anybody who ever died. That he, when we die, we die because of what? Because of sin. Mm -hmm. uh, the way to the sin is death. Mm -hmm. uh, but but Jesus, on the other hand, didn't have that problem. He was Amen. sinless. Yes. Uh, so his death was a death that he paid. He, that he died for others, yes. uh, according to the scripture. Well, what scripture we talking about? Well, we could pick out with the the fifth with the third song. They say he was wounded by the transgression. He was bruised so for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him with the stripes were healed. And so his death was unique in the fact that he died 
for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Help us, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. So he said, and so he started talking about the witness. Well, he named he named Cephas first. Well, he named Cephas. We know about Cephas, but but they, really now they, they they weren't the first witnesses, were they? Uh, go back go back to the third day. Uh, when you when you when you go find witnesses, you have to start with who? The women. Yeah. Uh, they were the first one. <laughs> they were the first one. At the, at, the, at the grave, mm -hmm. he, and then the way that the, the angel said, I know who you're seeking, but who you're seeking for, he's not here. He has risen like he said he would. Huh? Mm -hmm. and, and they met him, huh? and he sent them to tell the other brethren that, uh, to tell the brethren that he beat them in Galilee. Mm -hmm. Remember? And remember, James and John come, uh, mm -hmm. Peter and John come running back down there, and both entered into the place, and, and he was not there. But the but now when when Paul began to give the witnesses, he didn't name the women. Mm -hmm. Why did he name the women? Well, because in the court of law, women could not testify. Their, their testimony would be invalid. Mm -hmm. uh, and so so they, he didn't put the, he would give all the list of all the people, but he leaves out the women. Uh, when all, all the Christianity raised women to the status of personhood. Uh, mm -hmm. And all the nations there treat women as though they're nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, they're child. You could, you could buy a woman with a, with a good cow, a good goat, or something like that, and a good heifer. Help us, Lord. Now, I, I don't mean to start nothing now, but <laughs> some of y'all about uh, maybe a heifer. Heifer, a heifer, too. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> So you get talking about the witnesses. You say, I will see the secret, right? And that's, that's, that's notable because, because see, you would expect, if anybody, you would expect them to, 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 to call out Cephas' name because he denied that, you know, denied him. Mm -hmm. uh, he denied him. Mm -hmm. and, and yet again, he says to the women, go tell my brother, I meet you in Galilee, and Peter, mm -hmm. right? Remember? And so, and so, Peter is one of his, his, his witnesses. He said, then of the twelve, uh, mm -hmm. he goes he go talk about the twelve. He goes, he goes into the into the to place where they were hiding out and walked through the doors. And there he, he walked through the doors and there, there they were in hiding. Uh, and they scared, he scared, scared them to death. And he said, he said, he said, peace. I'll be out to you. Mm -hmm. uh, he had to calm them down. But well, wait a minute. There was only there was only eleven. Well, at this point, there was only ten. Because Judas was part of the twelve and he had hang, hanged himself. And and they and listen, they, they had to replace Judas in the book of Acts there to come up with, with, with Matthias as being one of them. But he talked in general about the twelve, because when he said the twelve, even though even though one uh, was okay. hanging in the other book. He talked to it as a, as a mm -hmm. concern to the group mm -hmm. that he was, he was, uh, that they saw him, right? Mm -hmm. they, now, 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 he's saying this because, because of what? Folks were saying that there ain't no resurrection. Right. Huh? They were talking about somebody in, the, in this church had come up with the thing about there ain't no resurrection. Someone said, yeah, there is a resurrection and we're in it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in it right now. They were, so they, were, they had this kind of mindset that they were throwing out. And so so he was, he was giving them the facts of, 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 of Cephas and then the 12. And then he said, he said, if you could check it out, he said, then 500 brethren saw him at one time. <laughs> he said, and some of them, some of them are still living. Uh, so what he said was, if y'all, if y'all, y'all can go ask some of them, the eyewitnesses, mm -hmm. right? That 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 he had rose, risen from the dead. Yeah. Go ask some of those brothers. All of them ain't dead yet. You still got some of them that are alive. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course, Lord. Uh, and then and then, and then he said, finally, I saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw it. Remember, this was a Hellcat here yeah. who yeah. had who had who had tried to destroy the church and. Had, 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 had taken separated families and brought them back to Jerusalem and throw them in jail. He was the enemy of the church until, and, and he did it because he was protecting Judaism. Mm -hmm. uh, he was great at Judaism. Uh, he had excelled among all of his other uh, uh, people that were in the same thing. He had excelled. He sat under the Gamaliel's feet and he crossed every T and dotted every I, and to him he was perfect. 
he was born of the tribe of Benjamin. On the eighth day, he was circumcised. He was the perfect Pharisee. Help us, Lord. And he had evaluated everybody according to the law that he thought he kept. Until he read, the Lord really came around and slapped him in the face and killed him. Huh? Because we, he, 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 uh, the law is more than just the, 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 the say, don't do this, don't. It, it goes deeper than that. Jesus said, you have heard, it said, that you should not touch a woman. But I say unto you, he that looks upon a woman with lust mm -hmm. is guilty of it. Help us, Jesus. Yeah. So he had, the, the, the thing he thought he kept. He had violated because he had coveted. And if I said, do not covet, and then it came around and hit him in the face, he said, oh, my God, he didn't kill me. Right? The way you have sin is death. Mm -hmm. And the law points out our fault. That's right. well, yeah. Law can't save you. That's right. All the law can do is point the finger of accusation against you. And it because, because it, it, it is it is it, it, it stir up your rebelliousness. You have a sin nature that when you see law, you violate it. Help us, Lord. It encourages you. It don't give you a second chance. And so Paul ran into that. And listen, he, first, he, he ran into Jesus. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Yeah. And, 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 and listen, when you run into Jesus, you throw religion out the window. Help us, Lord. You, know, you got religion to come tell you what to wear, how to wear it, huh? mm -hmm. how it's time to get up, it's time to do this and do that, huh? And all the religious uh, character needs you got to have, and sac sacraments, and all this new kind of stuff, and you got to bow down and this and that, huh? By the time you finish with all that stuff, if you wear, you wore out, right. huh? And, and listen, that's what they did. They, they, they had all of the rituals and all of the oral laws and all the tradition of being. They had made it the thing of God. And, and Jesus said, throw it out. Huh? He, said, he said, the law the law is all two things. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and help us, Jesus, and your neighbor as yourself. Amen. He said, all the rest of that stuff hang on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? He said, so the law could not say it. Uh, and, and Paul said, Paul said, it could not save us. I was still saved by the grace of God. Amen. That, was, that was the gospel says to us, because if, if there's a substitute, then he, and it is what it is, right? Is a propitiation, is it an atonement that, that, that Christ become your substitute and died for your sin? Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. And so, so he said, in due time, I was born in, in, in due season. Huh? And I, you see, because I was born that way, I, I, I tried to do more than all the rest before me. He said, I am an apostle. Those, the apostles are those who saw Christ after the risen and were sent by him. Mm -hmm. Help us, Jesus. And that's what Paul did, right? He saw the risen Lord, mm -hmm. and Jesus sent him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he was just as much an apostle as the rest of those fellas, yeah. remember, they stayed with Christ for three years, yeah. didn't, did it not? And so Paul, Paul didn't move out, didn't go, didn't try to witness or do anything for three years. Jesus had to teach him. Amen. Help us, Lord. Yeah. Right? And so he had the three-year period that hit like all the rest of the boys, but he excelled all the rest of them. Because most of his New Testament was written by Paul. By Paul. All right? So he said, he said, and last of all, he was seen of me also, verse 8, as one born out of due time, for I am the least on the least of the apostles, that I that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church. Huh? That's what I did. I persecuted the church. So, so I'm, 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 I'm the least of them. I did more damage. Huh? And just did out there to anybody. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the chief among sinners. Mm -hmm. uh, but then he said, but by the grace of God, yeah. I am what I am. By what? By the grace of God. Yeah. Right. By the grace of God. By the, God did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. God is the initiator. God is the one that, that does it. Huh? You, know, you say, I came to die, you couldn't come. Right? And, uh, the argument of, of, of uh, uh, Ephesians second chapter is that we were dead in sin and trespasses. Mm -hmm. right? We were dead. We had no will to come. Mm -hmm. 
We had no power to come to him. We had no intent and purpose to come to him. We were dead. Yeah. Huh? And, and listen, what a dead man needs to do anything is what? It's life. Mm -hmm. huh? And all of him to do anything, he needs he need life. Huh? And we, we, we would never, we would never come to, to, to God because we love what we love. Mm -hmm. Help us, Jesus. Yeah. We, we love the world. Yeah. We, uh, we love the system, mm -hmm. lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, the pride of life. We love it. We, right. we were children of the devil. Yeah. The Bible calls us children of wrath. Because those entities provided to this flesh all that we wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, and we don't want to hear about no Bible. We don't want to hear about no God. Because we start talking about God and this guy thing, the first thing coming out of my he's gonna keep us from doing what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Help us, Jesus. Huh? And so we were in love with the world. We loved it. Huh? We were we were in cahoots yeah. with the world. Yeah. We sought it out. We were in we were, we were we were in we were madly in love. We 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 were in this this thing between us and the devil and the world and the flesh, mm -hmm. and we weren't giving it up. Mm -hmm. Help us, Jesus. And we and we thought it was natural. Right. Uh, we, we thought it was the way it was supposed to be. Right. Until, until God, God gave us life. Yeah. Help us, Lord. You, Lord. And, and, that, and what happened? He opened our eyes. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Oh, yeah. that, that's what happened. He, he, he opened our eyes and he freed us. Uh, and all of a sudden, we saw what we were into was against the God who made us. Yeah, Help yeah, us, man. Lord. Yeah. Uh, and listen, listen. He had to, he had to, he had to save us by killing us. Yeah. Oh, help us, Jesus! Oh, he took yes. us to the cross. Yes. By faith, we were baptized into the death of Christ, that God might free us from this body of sin that we serve not sin. Help us, Lord. Yeah. That's the only way we could get free. That's the only way that we would serve it, and we call that being born again. Yes. Before you be born again, you gotta die. Right. Mm -hmm. ah, help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. And so we said, but by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace, verse 10, which which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labor, here we go, I labor more abundantly than you all, yet not I. But the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believe. Mm -hmm. And now here the argument. This was the argument. They were saying in this church, they were saying in this church, they go, now if Christ be preached that he you say, you say what are we at? You say, now now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? Well, listen. <clears throat> All of our lives is, is, is contended, is, 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 is based on the fact that Jesus rose. Right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you got to start with him. If he didn't get up, then, then we can't get up. Amen. Uh, Amen. Yeah. So, so it's, it, 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 the argument was if, if, if there's no resurrection of the dead, then Christ didn't rise. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then he goes on to tell you the negative. If Christ did not rise, he'll probably if he didn't rise. Uh, and listen, he had to rose from the dead, or our, our, all that we are and all that we do is in vain. Right? He said, if, if, but if there be no resurrection of the dead, verse 13, then is Christ not risen? And here we go. If Christ not be risen, then is our preaching vain, empty. He said empty. Our preaching is empty. That, that, that's not to it. We, we, we preach, you know, we, we preach the same folks, but if he didn't rise from the dead, then it's empty preaching. Mm -hmm. We can do something else. We, we can make a political speech. Uh, we, 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 we can make, we can make, make a, 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 a social speech, uh, sociology. We, we can talk about the environment. Because that's how much value and power that it has. If Christ did not rise, then, then we got empty speech. We ain't, we ain't, saying, we ain't saying nothing. Uh, because, because if he didn't get up, then we can't get up. Right, right. We're still dead, and all 
all this preaching and stuff, regardless of the eloquency of this preacher or the teacher, it don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. it, don't, it don't mean nothing. Huh? You see, they're not preaching, man, and you're, you're faded in it. You believe you got faded in what I'm talking about, huh? And if Christ didn't rise, baby, listen, your faith ain't worth nothing. Mm -hmm. You got faded in the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You need to play the numbers or something. <laughs> You, you got it. my preaching vain and your faith is vain, huh? It's empty. But that is if he had not risen from the dead. He said, uh, 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 yeah, and, and, and we are found false witnesses of God. We discredit God. Mm -hmm. Because he's the one that raised him from the dead and declared he's raised from so, so if we did not rise, then, then listen, then the integrity of God go down the drain. We, we are witnesses said from God said that when he raised and he didn't rise and so 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 the value of what God is talking about goes down to down the drain. He said, he said, yeah, and you have found false witnesses because mm -hmm. you have testified of God that he raised up Christ. Mm -hmm. He he raised up Christ. Well, um, you know, yeah. that that's it, that's it. The, the Christ, Christ rose from the dead. That's the passive thing, but if he, I'm sorry, that's the accurate thing, but if you say that God raised him, what did they say to us? They said that God was pleased with him. Mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah, God was, God, was, God was pleased with him. That, and that's the point he made, you know, that he got power, Christ got power, he, he, he's God, right? Yes. But, but what he did, what he did, giving his life for sinners, according to the will of God, and God raised him, saying that God was pleased with the Son. Mm -hmm. So he raised him up, even though the Son had power, and Jesus said, I'm going to get up. <laughs> he said, I'm going to get up, and, and, and nothing to stop him from getting up, right? right. Because remember, <clears throat> excuse me, remember, we start talking about atonement, which propitiation, and, and talking about, talk about substitution, Huh? That that he he gave his life for the life he gave was for somebody else for their sins and not for his own sins and so he died one time mm -hmm. help us Jesus but he couldn't die no more mm -hmm. because there was nothing for him to die for not, not for himself right. help us Lord and so and so he had to get up that that could not hold him huh? he had to get up once he paid the price for your sin for our sin. He got up to die no more. Amen. Let me throw this He got up to you die no more. Mm -hmm. Help us, Jesus. Uh, remember, we have eternal life. Yes. And that, that God has, has, has saved us. And the only thing that, could, that was, was killing us was that was our sins. But Christ died for our sins. Amen. Uh, and so, so death has lost its power over us. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the effectiveness of death. He said, he that believeth in me, though he was dead, yet shall he live, he that believe shall never die. This, this stuff here gotta be, gotta, be, gotta, gotta be put to the grave, and the last enemy to be destroyed is death, and he, listen, he, he has already, he has saved us from the power of death, right? And in the end, he gonna save us, he gonna, he gonna take the, to the complete power away, effectiveness of death cannot harm us. And there's no death in the lake of fire. There's no the devil in the lake of fire. Yeah. There's no the, uh, the false prophet in the lake of fire. Yeah. All, all that is in the fire. Right. But, but we're, we're saved. Yeah. We're saved. Turn this along. We say, he raised up Christ whom he raised not up. If, if so be that the dead rise not. So he says, if, um, he, he says, yeah, and we, and we are found false witnesses of God because he, we have testified of God that he raised up Christ who he raised. And so if he didn't raise him up, then we are we're found false witnesses. Mm -hmm. right? If so be that the dead rise not. His argument, his argument, his argument is based on, is based on the fact that Jesus rose, right? Mm -hmm. And it, 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 he gave his witnesses and then he'll give you all this the negative if he would raise not. Uh, if we if we if we didn't raise not, then our preaching is false, our 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 our, our, our faith is false, uh, is in vain. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then go, and if Christ did not raise your faith in vain, you are yet in your sins. 
If he didn't raise, if he didn't rise from the dead, then we're still in our sins, right? Amen. Because of the fact that he died for your sin, separating you from your sin. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll, 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 I'll cast your sins behind you as, as far as the east is for the west. I'll put them behind you and remember them no more. Uh, not that God got amnesia, uh, mm -hmm. but your sins have been separating you. Christ has separated you. God has separated you from your sins by way of Christ's death. Mm -hmm. Because in his death, he died for your past, present, mm -hmm. and future sins. Uh, and so your sins cannot, cannot send you to hell. They, because because, you know, because he, he bore your sin, and the penalty for your sin, he bore. Right? Mm -hmm. The wrath of God was, was, was poured out upon the Son of God for our sins. The wrath of God, all of God's anger and, 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 was, was, and wrath in that one instant on the cross was poured out upon the Lord Jesus Christ for all of your sins, past, present, and future. And so sin cannot send you to hell. Help us, Jesus. Amen. Because, because people in hell because they can't get away from their sins, right? If they can separate themselves from their sins, they can get out of hell. Right. But the problem is they can't get out of hell because they can't separate themselves from, from their sins. But we don't have that problem. Mm -hmm. Now, do we sin? Of course we sin. Mm -hmm. Of course we sin. Because, because it is progressive sanctification. Of course we sin. We're not perfect. Mm -hmm. We sin. Yeah. And sin can't send you to hell, but sin can take away your joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And can take away your peace. Yes. And take and take away the, 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 the seemingly the, the presence of the Lord. And take those things away. Uh, and it is always designed to get you back That's to the true. Lord. Amen. Help us, Lord. And it happens, huh? It, it happens. We're sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not perfect. We're growing. We're growing. God, God is mature in us. We've been edified. That's why we come to church. That's why we read the Bible. That's why we pray. That's why we meditate. Because we're growing. Sin is always a problem for us. Sin is always a problem for us. It will be a problem for us until we die. Amen. Help us, yes. Jesus. Always. Coming from the right or from the left. Coming from your emotion. Coming from your intellect. Coming from will is always presented itself as a problem because the Lord we in this flesh and this flesh craves for that. Yeah. Huh? This flesh desires huh? and, and when this flesh is in charge, it seeks those <clears throat> things out which is which are in in the system. Lust of the flesh, desires of, of the eye, the pride of life. We used to love it. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. And, and those, those voices are still calling. Help us, Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you come on back to me. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, come on here, baby. You know you, know you want it. Uh, <laughs> you know you want it. You know, and, and this flesh, this flesh, this flesh, and we would listen to the voice of this flesh, it would follow those things back into the system and back into the world. Uh, and God has to come and get us. Mm -hmm. He promised not never to leave or forsake us. Amen. Uh, he he was, will not abandon us. The Bible says those sins that are, are, are common to man, and God always make a way of escape. Yeah. If you fail to escape, well, the Lord allowed the consequence of that sin to tear you up. Mm -hmm. Can you call, call can you call out for it? Uh, yes. And because you belong to him, he will not abandon you. Amen. He'll come, he'll come and rescue you. Come to revive you and come to restore you. Yeah. Help us, yeah. Lord. But, but, but to keep you from going through that mess uh, in, a, in a punitive way, uh, to keep you from going through that mess, then he says to you, he builds you up and see with the Spirit and says, don't, and the Spirit, Spirit the says, don't do it. Uh, don't do, don't do that. You know, in the flesh, said, I want to do this. Uh, <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta do it. And, and, if, and if you don't have, you don't have enough re re resistance in you, then you fall for it because it's so pleasing, mm -hmm. it's so, it's so effortlessly. You know, it, it draws you, it reminds you about about how it you used to be. Help us, Lord. Every now and then, every now and then, I stopped smoking much of my years ago, but every now and then, somebody smoking somewhere, and I'm catching my nose. 
Don't be bad. Oh, that was pleasant. <laughs> that was Jesus. <laughs> you know, those demons are still there. Your flesh still got a good memory. You ain't, you ain't crazy. You ain't forgot how it feels. That was Lord. <laughs> that was Jesus. And, 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 and as long as you're in this world, you're subject to it. Amen. And you can't get so prideful and think that you're above it and that you, you let your guards down and you look at others and point your fingers at them and talk about the other Christians and stuff and not understanding that you got you susceptible to the same thing and the same mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. If any man think he's going to stay and he didn't check himself, he's he fall. Right. Uh, and we, we can get that way because you know we think we have arrived. Mm -hmm. We are so sinful. We have not arrived. We are so sinful. Oh, yeah. We got sin, the sin nature operating in us 24 7, and it wouldn't be the presence of the Holy Spirit that, that keeps reminding us, keeps empowering us about who we are and whose we are. It would be so simple to, to draw back into that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And, and listen, the objective of the devil, remember, in a world, when he was in the world, he came to steal, to kill, to destroy. But as a Christian, he can't do those things, but he can take away your effectiveness. Mm -hmm. You were saved to be a witness. Amen. Yeah, like Jesus. You were saved to tell folks about the goodness and the mercy of God and the power <laughs> of God and what, what God is able to do. But now listen, if you were living like that, then you can tell about nothing. That's right. <laughs> and you and you're part of the in crowd, you can't tell them about nothing. Amen. What makes us different is that we we unique, right? Mm -hmm. We're in this world. But not of the world. But we're not of the world. And that's the difference. We're in the world. We can't get out of it until you take it out. But, but we're not of it. Mm -hmm. whatever, whatever the world is doing, that's the world. And we understand because we used to do that. Right. Our parents fought it, came and lied, and, and, and all of that. We used to do it. And we loved it when we were there until God opened up our eyes. So, so, so we understand what it is to be in the world. We understand it. Yeah. Right. But he called us out from that. Mm -hmm. uh, what they seek is joy and peace and love. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what we call it. But the other is, they call it, instead of love, they got lust. Instead of, instead of, instead of peace, they, they, got, they got false peace. Uh -huh. Instead of joy, they got happiness that, mm -hmm. that, 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 that goes with happy, what happens gives them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But we have, we have internal lives, joy. Oh, yeah. We have internalized peace mm -hmm. because it's produced by who? Uh -huh. By the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He's the one who produces that joy in us. Now, he's the one that produces the peace in the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we walk, as he said to walk, all of a sudden, this tree begins to produce the fruit. Right. Huh? The Holy Spirit inside me begins to produce the peace, the peace of God. Amen. Jesus provides the peace of God. Uh, uh, peace with God, rather. He provided peace with God because he died for us. The warfare between us and God has been solved and been settled because the Son died for us. Mm -hmm. God is not angry with us anymore. Mm -hmm. The wrath of God was poured out on his Son for us. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that's a done deal. So now we got to contend with the peace of, the peace of God mm -hmm. uh, that surpasses all of our understanding. So the peace of God said, listen, when, when hell is breaking loose all around us, we're as cool as a cucumber. Mm -hmm. we're, we're like, we're like, we're like, we're like a, a butterfly in a hurricane. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't rushing, we ain't moving, because we know God got us. Amen. Folks trying to figure out, figure out, why, why you, you all this stuff is happening? You ain't going back to your old stuff? Well, Y'all go back to John, he's where you Y'all go back to Jack and just uh, and uh, what that the Baptist stuff they when y'all go back to all that <laughs> yeah you they they legalize weed so y'all go back y'all go <laughs> y'all go find the good check those old coat boxes and stuff tell us what's wrong Johnny I I forgot I had this in here <laughs> <laughs> so the objective of the devil is always to destroy your testimony. Mm -hmm. Right. So, as folks see you in the time of crisis, falling apart and, and, and uh, a smoking weed and all that stuff to calm you down and to help you gather yourself, man, they say, man, look, that stuff you talk about, your faith in God, Lord, that don't mean nothing. We'll do it. You can, we, we're doing the same thing you do. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord, so, what God keep us because you keep your composure. Yes. Because people want to 
up to ask you, man, why are you so cool? You know, why you ain't falling apart? Uh-huh. And you had said like 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 Job told him, told him, he said, it's the Lord who give it, the Lord who who takes it away. Right. Blessed be the name right. of the Lord. Uh-huh. That God God got me. Mm-hmm. And, and he had me, he had me. And his promise is that he won't leave me. His promise is he's gonna deliver me from here to there. He'll be here and there be heaven, right? Mm-hmm. And then he gets me through all of that stuff. Uh, he lets me know, he lets me know, he lets me know that I'm gonna survive it. But well, the first thing I do, because I have I, I got a prayer line, <clears throat> is that I pray, right? Mm-hmm. Well, when you need when you when, when you are overwhelmed and, and overcome by all this stuff, then you call for help. And the reason why we don't get help is that we we try to figure it out, try to go on the world thing and figure it, let them get, explain us how to do it instead of hiding for help. Mm-hmm. You know, let, 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 let the world do <laughs> psychology and philosophy and ideology, let them explain and, and calm in and figure out how to work this thing. Up. And I spend my time trying to say you'll be a child of God. He expect you to call him. Amen. Let, let, Call, call his name, your prayers and supplications, right? Your prayer, the minute, the, the minute you do start praying, it moves you from the present, help us, Lord, oh, yeah. to the future. Mm-hmm. Isn't that what's supposed to happen? Amen. You know, praise the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Keep me right here, Lord. <laughs> you don't need to change, Lord. You know? <laughs> when you pray in the present, you're <clears throat> praying for the future. Lord, deliver me. Get, me. get me out of this. Help us, Jesus. That's right. So, so, so we're different. We're unique. We're totally unique. And our, our destiny is different. Uh, mm-hmm. we're, headed, we're headed to heaven. Help us, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We're, headed, we're, headed, we're headed to heaven. Mm-hmm. Uh, where, where, where God himself has, has seated us yeah. in heavenly yeah. places. Yeah. 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 He did. We didn't do it. All that, all that we are is because of Him. Right. It ain't because of us. It's because of Him. Yeah. It ain't because we're religious. It ain't because we 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 keep the Ten Commandments and all of that. That that that, that is the reason. The reason why we're on our way to heaven is because He saved us. Amen. Help us, Lord. Lord. And listen, I don't know about you. If you ain't had a thing to do with it, That's right. you had nothing to do with it. Uh, the Bible says, "Not by the will of man." Not by the will of blood, not by the will of flesh, but by the will of God. Amen. God saved us. Uh, well, I, but I, I don't know about that. You know when he did it because he sees you, what is that, 2 and 13 says that he gives us both the will and the do to perform. God did it. Mm-hmm. Because remember, dead men can't will anything. Dead men can't do nothing uh, because we're dead. Right. Help us, Lord. And so he said, all this he said, because Christ was risen from the dead. <laughs> it says, if in this life only, verse 19, we have hope in Christ, we are all men most miserable, but now, but now, mm-hmm. now he, he said that in reference to Christ, he that way, but he said, but now, not even a policy, but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that slept. Mm-hmm. Not them that died, now, you don't use that term for, for Christians, we sleep. He said, mm-hmm. we're the first fruit. Right? Remember, it's the agricultural people. And so the first fruit, remember, is the fruit that, that <coughs> was taken into the priest as an offering to God. And the first fruit says that all the rest of it is on the way. Mm-hmm. It was a guarantee. The first fruit was presented as a, well, your, 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 your tithe, your 10%. Mm-hmm. Huh? Your 10% is, your, is, is what you get in your tithe. Yeah. After the first, it says it says this is the Lord. This represents all the rest of it, and God treats it as though if you give Him your, your tithes, then He treats it as though you're giving Him the whole range. That's right. Help us, Lord. Amen. So the so the first fruit indicated that the rest of the harvest is coming, mm-hmm. and the first and, the, and it's just like the first fruit. Help us, Lord. Yeah. Oh, help us, Lord. Yeah. And so and so Jesus got up. If he was the first fruit, he represented me. I gotta get up too. Oh, yeah. I, I'm right behind him, he said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm the trump of God shall sound. Oh yeah. In the day of Christ is gonna get up, we're gonna rise, huh? And the reason why we're gonna rise is because he rose. Mm-hmm. He was the first fruit. 
and be representing the rest of us, huh? And so we are expecting to rise. Huh? If you, if you, whether you're living or dead, or living or sleeping, you're gonna get, you'll leave this place, right? Amen. Because he, because he got up, mm-hmm. he rose from the dead, he preceded us into heaven. He, he's the captain of our salvation. Oh, yeah. huh? And he, he, he led the way. Huh? And so, so he's the guarantee that we are going behind him. He's the first group. And we're right behind him. Mm-hmm. Okay, it says, it says, for since by this, this, this is the argument. Since, since by verse, verse 21, since by man came death. Is that right? That's how, that's how death came into the world, right? By man. Mm-hmm. Right? Huh? It came in by man. What man? Yeah. Adam. Yeah. By one man, sin came into the world, from sin came death, and all men died because all men. All the insistence. That's the only reason that death came into this planet, right? Well, wait a minute, Frank. Hold it, hold it back. Hold it back. What about, what about the, the, what was that, the evolutionists? Who talked about we've been here billions of years. And they got all the fossils to prove it. Well, if they're fossils, they just died before Adam did. Uh-huh. That was Lord. And all the way, and all the way death came here is that Adam had to bring it here. So, so that's in contrast to what they're talking about. Huh? That things died, fossils, and they prove it. It was here, this whole world been here millions of years, and billions, all that old craziness. And we go about who created the world. We could come up with about 9,000 years, at least. At least 9,000 years. But they, they, they use the formula where they could come up with billions of years. Billions of years. You know how you mind? This is the truth of the one who made the world. Help us, Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you could trace it all the way back to Adam. Help us, Lord. And you come up there by 9,000 years. Mm-hmm. Not, not no billions and billions of years like they exist. Somebody had to be fine. <laughs> Death came into the planet by one man. By one man, sin came. And from sin came death. And all men died because all men sinned. And then in contrast, he, he said by, by Adam came death. But then by Jesus, that's it. He said, he said, when Adam all died, verse 22, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Help us, Lord. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, after the day that of Christ at his coming. Uh, At his coming. All those folks that that because they had faith in him, that are dead, going to get up. You know, there's, there's a number, there's an order. Those of whom, whom are dead are going to rise first. You, you, people who die before you are going to get up. <clears> and then the order going to take place. You know, then you arrive. Those of us, I'm going to say like Paul. Paul, Paul, had, Paul had really thought about dying right here. <laughs> he said, those of us who are alive. He, he, because the whole concept of that, they thought they'd be alive when Jesus came back. Help us, Lord. So he thought you could, he said, and those of us who are alive, mm-hmm. we're going to be caught up. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying the same thing. Th- those of us who are going to be alive, <laughs> <laughs> help us, Jesus. I'm going to be caught up. He said, verse 24, he said, then come the end when he shall have de- delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he, when, he, when he shall have put down all rules and all authority and power. For he must reign, right? Mm-hmm. He must reign, this verse 20, 25, till he put all things, all enemies under his feet, mm-hmm. and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Huh? Well, death th- th- eventually, when he comes, is going to lose his effectiveness. To us, death can't kill us. Mm-hmm. Help us, Lord. Now, in that sense, the body got to die because it can't go to heaven, mm-hmm. right? So the flesh, the flesh gonna have to go have to die, but but dying, but death, <coughs> he has taken the power from it to kill us, help us, Lord. Yeah. He, he, he that believed in me, though he was dead yesterday, he that we shall never die. Uh, we died because of, of because of sin, and he kept taking the sin <coughs> upon himself, and so it's because his flesh has a residual. What it, of the sin nature, it gotta stay here. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. But listen, 
because this flesh belongs to us. He said, he said, the, the trump of God shall sound, we shall be changed. Right, right. He we shall, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, that mortal, this, this, this mess, this stuff here, shall put on immortality. Mm -hmm. And corruption shall put on incorruption. Mm -hmm. All this will happen in a twinkling of an eye. Because man is tripartite, spirit, soul, and body. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's not just it's not just your soul and spirit going to heaven. This stuff here got to go too, but it can't go the way it is. Mm -hmm. God got to change it. Amen. Uh -huh. And just think, you you couldn't we couldn't we, we we have to be judged a part of it because everything we did, good or bad, we did in this in this stuff here. Right. Uh -huh. And so so we got to stand at the beamer seat <clears throat> and be judged. Not for our sins, but for our reward. Mm -hmm. Because remember, our sins have been, Christ has taken our sins. Yes. Yeah. But God is a rewarder. Yes, he right? is. When we are obedient, we obedient to God, he rewards us. Mm -hmm. you know? And in heaven, when we stand before God, he's going to give us our reward. Just like sinners, when they stand before God, he going to give them their reward. Mm -hmm. right? But some of us going to receive crowns. Mm -hmm. right? We all we suffer and obey God for what he Instruct us to do it, and sacrifice, and some of us become martyrs and what have you, and we give our lives to God. God in turn will bless us. Amen. He come to pay every man according to his word. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you do for the Lord, He will not be will not be, be, be uh, have you owing uh, you owing Him or you Him only you rather. He's going to pay you, mm -hmm. right? God will pay us. Uh, he'll pay pay us after a while. He's going to pay us for what we've done. And so when we give all we have to do all he says to do, then the Holy Spirit gives us. And then some people, because salvation is free, they didn't have to do nothing to get it. We don't have to do nothing to get it. They were they were getting, they, they're just going to heaven. Mm -hmm. They're just going to heaven. They're saved. The, the thief on the cross, he just went to heaven. The day thou shalt be with me in fact, he just went to heaven. There's no, there no crown for him because he did not witness. Huh? <laughs> God saved him. Yeah. But but there are folks who, who have given their life for the cause of the kingdom mm -hmm. and have denied themselves all of the pleasures and all of the stuff of this world. Right. And let me tell you something, I don't mean that old monk stuff. I don't mean <coughs> that old faith that they do in the, in the priest and all that crazy, all that yeah, stuff. That stuff. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff, the, the self-denial stuff. You know, those guys, you know, they around the fourth century, they went crazy and start not taking baths and punishing themselves and, and uh, uh, as a matter of fact, What's his name? Luther, the monks. Look, yeah, Luke, Luke had joined one of those things, and, and he he stopped bathing, and he had to he started <clears throat> repenting and, and kept people in uh, 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 confessing almost almost twenty four hours confessing because everything he did he saw it as being a sin, mm -hmm. and he still people that confessing and he denied wouldn't wash and wouldn't eat wouldn't do that almost kill himself. Uh, to put pressure on himself, think that was pleasing to God. You know what's pleasing to God? Hmm. Faith. Mm -hmm. God, faith. That's right. Yeah. And so God doesn't need you to do it all the way. But when he, when, he, when, he, when he tell you to do something, the Spirit said to you to do it, not claim this world and all of its riches and all of that other stuff that it has for you, and to keep you in that cycle. When you say to the Lord, Lord, for you I live and for you I die, and then put it in work. Do what God, do what the Holy Spirit tell you to do. Mm -hmm. Then God will reward you. Yeah. We're looking to be rewarded. Yeah? Amen. We, we'll be bad in the heat of the day and, and the burden in the heat of the day and go and we tell you to go come in. So we, we're looking for that. We're, we're not looking for this world treasure, but we're looking for God to, to bless us. Amen. And He does bless us, right? Yes, He does. Right. God bless us. We, 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 uh, breathe in His air right now. Mm -hmm. And drink in his water. And then now one of y'all got an air bill. Help us, Lord. <laughs> no, no, no. God, God bless. All of our lives is in, is in his hands. Yes, because we trust him. That was, and all this, all faith does is say, I trust God. Whatever happens in life, since he has saved me, and, and I, I trust him to do whatever he tells me to do, to be, to be his representative, to tell the world how good he is. And listen, this is his first his, his first instruction to all of us. He said, he said, he said, he started with say, he said, I am holy. Mm -hmm. Be thou holy. And be ye holy. Mm -hmm. So wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That we back to those do's and don't stuff again. <laughs> well the very the very thought of business is this that you recognize that your righteousness did not depend on you, but it depends on Jesus. That he made us righteous. <coughs> he just we we got the righteousness of, of the Son.
God that is placed on us. Oh, yeah. That, that, that God is pleased with us. When, he, when we are in the Son, if any man be in Christ, he's, new, he's pleased with us. Uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are saved, and we are being saved, and we shall be saved. Mm -hmm. We are saved from the penalty of sin, we are saved from the power of sin, and we will be saved from the presence of sin. And we live like it. Oh, yeah. uh, when the world looks at when the world looks at us, it must see Jesus. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. It must yeah. see us. Yeah. We saw us before. We saw we ain't hidden us, but it must see Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that means to, to humble yourself. To humble yourself. To yeah. humble yourself. To humble yourself. And not try to claim your position in this world, but to humble yourself. To give duty to God. Mm -hmm. Any questions? We'll, we'll finish this Christmas day. Any questions? All right, all right. This is Pastor Franklin, C.L. Franklin. This is Rod Southern Michigan Baptist Church. This has been the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. It talks about the resurrection of Christ, and we'll continue on the next Bible study and, and, and try to conclude it. Uh, but we, we, without the resurrection, we are, we are nothing. We're not, not only his resurrection, but, but his ascension. He rose, but then he ascended up into the heaven. And we, need, we need to talk about that. Uh, <clears throat> weeks to come, his ascension, that he sits on God's right hand. Yeah. Help us, Jesus. Amen. All right. Let us, let us do our, our offering. God bless you tonight. Are we still on sale? Mm -hmm. Can I talk to myself? No. Uh, we, we're still on, y'all. Well, good night to you. Come see us on, on Sunday, 11 o'clock. Bible study on 7 o'clock. And we'll be happy to see you. God bless you tonight. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.